In the previous videos, we have looked at fractions in binary and how to represent negative numbers using 2's complement. It is recommended to watch those before this one. Normalized floating point is the method used by computers to deal with decimal numbers. To understand normalized floating point, we must first understand the scientific notation. For example, 3000 can be represented as 3 times 1000 or 3 times 10 to the power 3. This is the scientific notation. We place a decimal point after the first digit to get the mantissa. We normalize the number. We then multiply that number by 10 to the power of the number of places we've moved the decimal point, giving us the exponent. Notice how the decimal point floats from the end to the second position. So 25,985.7 can be represented as 2.59857 times 10 to the power 4. Computers use the binary version of this exact method to work with fractions. As computers can only work with ones and zeros, they can't just add a binary point in the middle of a number. They don't have a representation for it. Instead, they use one value for the mantissa, the actual number, and another value for the exponent, which defines the position of the binary point. Keeping in mind that normalized floating points always use the two's complement method, Let's take a look at how we can represent 0110.10011. We first normalize the number by floating the binary point to the second position, giving us the mantissa. We then count the number of steps we've moved the binary point to get the exponent. And finally, convert the exponent into binary. It is important to normalize the number as the computer needs to know where the binary point is without there actually being one. We have to always be sure that the floating point is in the second position. Let's see if we can use the mantissa and the exponent to reverse engineer the original number. We convert the exponent and knowing that the binary point is in the second position, we move it three places to the right. So what about numbers less than one, such as 0 0.00567? Let's see how this number would look using the scientific notation in standard deanery. The decimal point has to go to the second position by removing all leading zeros, so the mantissa will be 5.67. We moved the decimal point three places, meaning that the exponent will be 10 to the power of three. However, because the starting number was less than one, and we have to decrease the value of the mantissa, the exponent must be negative, giving us 10 to the power minus three. This translates to 5.67 times 0.001, so all we need to do to represent fractions using the scientific method is have a negative exponent, which will push the floating point to the left. It is the same for normalized floating points as well. To convert 0 0.00101, we first normalize the number by moving the binary point to the second position while removing all but one of the leading zeros. The reason why we did leave one zero is because we are using two's complement and we need a leading zero to indicate that the number is positive. If we place the binary point after the one, the mantissa would become negative and a whole different number. So the leading digit of the mantissa must always match the leading digit of the starting number. We can now count the number of places we've moved the floating point, and remembering that the exponent is negative, we convert it into binary using two's complement. If we double check, we can convert the mantissa using 2's complement, giving us negative 2. And knowing that the normalized floating point is in the second position, we move it two places to the left by inserting two zeros after it. To learn how to convert deanery numbers to and from normalized floating point, watch these videos. To see how any number is converted or to play conversion games, visit BitBinary using the link in the description.